Introduction, JavaScript is designed to be asynchronous and non-blocking. Unlike Python or Java, JavaScript does not have a built-in sleep function. There are ways to simulate a delay in JavaScript execution, simulating sleep with setTimeout function. setTimeout is JavaScript's built-in function to simulate a delay. setTimeout takes two parameters, the function to execute after the delay and the delay in milliseconds. Simulating sleep with promises and async await, JavaScript ES6 introduced promises and async await syntax to create a delay. A function that returns a promise can be created, which resolves after a set amount of time. The async await syntax can be used to pause execution until the promise resolves. Tips and tricks. Remember that JavaScript is non-blocking, Set timeout or promises async await only delay the execution of subsequent code. In JavaScript's single threaded nature, timing may not be precise when using set timeout with heavy computations. Async await syntax is cleaner and easier to read when dealing with multiple asynchronous operations, but requires understanding of promises, common errors, and how to avoid them. Code after set timeout will run immediately not after the timeout period. To avoid this, place the code to execute after the delay within the set timeout function itself, or use promises with async await. A loop with set timeout to create multiple delays won't work as expected because the loop doesn't wait for the timeout to finish. And to solve this, use recursive set timeout calls or use async await within a loop. Conclusion, even though JavaScript doesn't have a built-in sleep function, a delay can be simulated using set timeout or promises with async await. Understanding the non-blocking nature of JavaScript and how these techniques work can help avoid common errors and write efficient code.